Hi everyone, you're watching Hudson County TV. Coming to you from the Mason Civic League in Hoboken as I spotlight Richard Mason, the husband of Hoboken City Councilwoman Beth Mason, on a great achievement with the Boy Scouts of America. Uh, Beth Mason, Mr. Mason, I appreciate a couple minutes of your time. Thank you. It's a great achievement that uh, we're talking about today here for our viewers concerning the Boy Scouts of America. If you could just tell us a bit more about uh, this wonderful accomplishment you've come across. Thank you very much. Well, I've had a lifelong association with the Boy Scouts. I was a, um, a member of Troop 417 in Richmond, Virginia, as was my brother, and he and I were both Eagle Scouts. And I just uh, always thought when I was a kid it was a great, it was a lot of fun, it was a lot of activities. And as, as I grew older, I realized that the Boy Scouts taught me a tremendous amount about leadership uh, and about community involvement. So. Uh, the Greater New York Councils for the Boy Scouts, which covers uh, the five boroughs of New York City, um, elected me as their committee chair for what is called the National Eagle Scout Association. And it's, a, it's an organization of adults who were Eagle Scouts uh, in their teen years. Uh, and it's a, really a way of bringing adults back uh, into scouting as adult volunteers to kind of reconnect them to uh, the organization. So. Our new chief scout executive, Ethan Drady, uh, had this program in Baltimore where the uh, local council there uh, had the National Legal Scout Association representative and now I'm at here for the New York City area and uh, we're launching a tremendous program to find adults in New York and New Jersey who were Eagle Scouts uh, who still have a, uh, an affinity for the organization, still believe in its in its goals and purposes and uh, we're trying to get them back involved uh, as adult volunteers because it's a great organization in New York. We serve 50,000 kids, uh, many of them underprivileged, give them great camping opportunities uh, in the New York City area as well as in upstate New York uh, and it's, a, it's just a great way for, for adults to give back to the community. What are some of the single best life lessons that the organization has taught you from an early age and even so what you try to convey today to the kids? Well, I like to tell people that I really don't remember how to tie a square knot or a taut line hitch. So all of the, many of the practical things that I learned as a kid that were so much fun and how to go camping and, and uh, mountain climbing. I, I went out to New Mexico to the Boy Scout Wilderness area when I was 14 called Philmon and spent two weeks out there hiking through the mountains. I don't really do that anymore. I love the outdoors, but I don't get out in that way. But what the Boy Scouts taught me was leadership, <clears throat> was how to really be committed to something and to achieve it, so the road to Eagle Scout was very difficult, but once I made it, it really told me that if I committed myself to something, I could, I could achieve it, and if I set a goal and stuck to it, um, then terrific things would result. So really the personal achievement, uh, as well as the group and community leadership skills, and those have stayed with me for my entire life. For our viewers that again may not be familiar with the, the Boy Scouts and may be interested in either volunteering their time or even donating something, uh, where can they find more information? Well, you can go on the Boy Scouts website. The National Boy Scouts have one. The Greater New York Councils for New York City has one. I think there's one in New Jersey as well. So the internet, um, the great tool that it is, would provide a lot of information. Here in Hudson County, the Boy Scouts are very, very active. Uh, there's a troop that uh, is under the auspices of uh, Norman Kasser and others that uh, uh, has, has grown quite a bit. Uh, so, you know, the internet is, is, is available um, or, uh, you know, reaching out to, uh, in Hoboken, I believe uh, that they may, uh, that the Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts meet the United Synagogue of Hoboken, so um, one could reach that as well. Uh, for our viewers that may, may not be aware of this, certainly you and your wife are responsible for the creation of the Mason Civic League here in Hoboken. Uh, what does it say about how proud you are of your wife in terms of what she does for the community here in Hoboken? How she really goes out of her way to really be so accessible for residents? Well, we think that Hoboken is a great town. Uh, we've lived here for most of our lives now. Uh, we grew up in Virginia and we moved here in 1984. And we just look for ways to give back to the community. And the Civic League uh, that we've started and that has really gotten going with the help of a tremendous number of people is uh, I think is one way to do that. We've, we have uh, art shows, we have an art show here now, we have different classes of uh, yoga classes, we have community events. Uh, it's a great space and I think people really look to it in the neighborhood and throughout the city as a, as a bit of a, of a magnet just to come and do things that are, you know, that are interesting and really um, 
uh, really involve a contribution back to Hoboken. So we're very, very proud of it and very happy for the support that we've gotten uh, in the, in the uh, community. Mr. Mason, again, uh, great work you do here in Hoboken, and more importantly, congratulations on your outstanding achievement with the Boy Scouts of America, and thank you for speaking with Hudson County TV. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'll continue to highlight residents like Richard Mason and others who contribute to the community on a daily basis. You only see exclusives like this on Hudson County TV. Thank you so much for watching. For more programming, please go to HudsonCountyTV.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.